Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod. Right now we're playing as the United States of Austria Hungary. I'm your host, Tel Mokolova. And right now we've already begun our assault into what will be, hopefully, our territory, the Crimea, soon enough. And it looks like we're doing okay. Some areas, some areas, not so much, but A, it is what it is. The main goal at this point is to completely try to demolish these pieces of garbage. It held Rouse, anything here? We've got a couple comments to go through. And I think we're doing a pretty good job so far, especially cutting these guys off. That's very good. Very delectable, we'll say. And once these guys are cut off, there's nothing they can do. Beautiful. Cut them off, cut them off. There we go. They have like 20 divisions, not 20, but like 10 divisions here or something like that, so not bad. You just kind of hang out, maybe go this way a little bit. Uh, go this way maybe a little bit. Beat them up if you can. That's kind of nice, kind of nice, kind of kind of cool. Uh, don't do that, please. Thank you. And this is probably going to be the final episode for this campaign, because after Russia, we'll take out the Germans, and that's pretty much it, because last time we took out the Italians. And one comment from yesterday did say, or did ask, it'd be really cool if we'd be able to choose between a Republican or a Republican-heavy or monarchist-heavy government when we release a country's puppet. Like, we're playing as the United States of Austria-Hungary. I think we're a constitutional monarchy, because we gave more powers to the... Uh, well, we didn't technically. We didn't give the powers back to them yet, but uh, we wanted to go more power to the Reichsrat. So it'll be cool if we had the option of choosing a heavier, like Republican government or monarchist government. But hey, it is what it is. But let's do the Kaiser as a figurehead. Well, the Kaiser is an important figurehead in our nation. There's no reason why any one person should have the power the kings and queens of the world used to have. To make sure the Kaiser cannot do anything about the, without the consent of the people, we'll make him into a figurehead. So that'd be really cool if we could like make him more of a monarchist state or something like that. But hey, I understand why. It's totally cool. And led by Ferruccio Party. Now, this last attack cost us quite a bit, but that's A-OK -okay, since we got guys moving in here anyways, so. Hey, what are you doing, sir, son? What you doing? Alright, so you guys did a fantastic job. I'll put you guys over here because we're going to start unleashing attacks on this part of the border too, so there you go. Machine assisted decryption, very nice. Let's keep going, keep going, keep doing a great job. The cipher's done for the Russian Republic. Not bad. You guys, well, you guys could probably just go in there and do probably pretty okay, right? There you go. Very nice. Get the tanks over here. We're trying to shoot down enemy planes, or I guess sink enemy planes, not shoot them down. Nice. Uh, go, infantry, go. Uh, then another comment from yesterday said that we can use support attacks with the control button. Yes, I, I just did what I did over here, just general attacks for the most part. Just because I was lazy. That's literally the only reason why I chose just like my normal attacks. I'll, I'm literally just lazy about that right now, so. <laughs> no, no, there's a special reason. I was just lazy. I'm like, eh, we'll get it done anyways. And we have a lot of people covering lines anyway, so I'm like, eh, we'll be alright. And. Bomarinos. Nice. Very nice. I wonder if you guys could actually win here. Can you actually win? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, winning is kind of cool. Hey, keep going, guys. Keep going. You're doing a fantastic job. Now they gotta open up the and put some more soldiers down here by putting soldiers away from the front. Now, what if we could do a general attack sometime? That'd be kind of cool if we could. What are we building? More infrastructure, some military factories. Definitely need more medium tanks. Most definitely. Most definitely. Most, 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 most definitely. You guys are not winning anymore, which sucks. Except for fire mains, is 1943. Let's grab some streamline line because that's usually pretty good to do. Uh, you guys stop and hold, because it's looking pretty bad around here. And we need more planes. Always going to need more planes. What do we have? Oh, something there. Probably artillery or something like that. Fighters are also incredibly good to have. Auto accept this role as figurehead. With the recent changes to the government, Kaiser Otto von Habsburg, Habsburg Lothringen Guinness previously accepted his role as a figurehead. This is a better outcome than anyone expected. Good, he made a wise decision. Yes, he did. Delightful, my friends. Delightful. Uh, you guys could use that. I'll throw some 100 here, and then the rest go right there, because we can. Get some research going. Let's grab some more heart attack and piercing. Let's go ahead and grab this as well, and then lighten constitution. Our constitution is old and outdated. We shall modernize the constitution and change it to more accurately represent the people. Very nice. Oh, they decrypted us again. Oh, no. Oh, well. Don't really care. I'll be honest. Don't really care. Honestly, I don't really care. Just do general attacks. Not general attacks, but, you know... Well, uh, plane-wise, we're actually we actually have air superiority, huh? Go figure. But we're losing this battle, which really sucks. That really sucks. I mean, they go to war with us, but they don't want to win the battles. Like, bruh, bruh. 
Send the send a, all, the all of them in. The tanks are going to lead the way. Now these tanks should do really, really well. You're going straight there. You're going to just break over the river. There you go. Break them, break them, break them. Another division. Hey, another tank. Great. Great. Oh, we can't break over the river. That sucks. That's all right. Get our guys out of here. And it would be actually really cool if we could go make an encirclement here. But I doubt we can. Yeah, go and hold for now. That's okay. Oh, uh, guys. Uh, I'm pressing the H button. Please, please get out. Please. Supply is not very good. Supply is actually really bad around here, actually. Uh, do our divisions have logistics? Yeah, they do. And do we get any better logistics? Well, we got to wait a few years. Oh, look at that. Yes. I'll take some of that. Thank you. Over here. Uh, I don't know if we have enough air bases around here, really. We should be making more. We've lost a million manpower, though. So we might want to raise the conscription level. We're on extended already. I think we'll wait, though. Rover processing. Let's get some more attack. I like the attack. I like the stock. I like the attack. More fuel, because we can. All right. Not bad. Get your guys out of there. Supply is garbo. Cool. All right, get your boys out. Get some more tanks rolling on in, because we only have so many. Oh, guys, would you like to... Yes, yes, I love our allies. Actually, we might just attack here using these guys. Let's see. Or we could do this. And go boom. Just take one tile at a time. It's going to be painful, but it's got to be done. All right, and a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm in these toasty, toasty cold times in September 8th. Oh, well, whatever. In a Latin constitution, shall we? Ever since the constitution reforms in 1927, while the Caso is no longer an absolute ruler, many politicians within the Reichsrat have been discussing further changes to the constitution. Just recently, we saw radical changes to the power of Kaiser Otto within the government, essentially making him the government figurehead rather than the head of government. But politicians also want to see changes to the role of the Reichsrat. They want the Reichsrat to be allowed to fully reject the actions of the government. They are currently only allowed to show protests against it, but the head of the government, which used to be the Kaiser, always had the final say, if it would be pulled through or not. The politicians are claiming this is not how politics should work according to the Enlightenment. Luckily, luckily for them, the Reichsrat has voted for this change in the Reichsrat and will be implemented within the next two months. Good. The Enlightenment should be adopted. We get 10 more political power. We lose political power every single day. We get some better division recovery rate, stability, and ideology drift defense. Very cool. Forward interception. Very nice. Let's grab some ground support integration. Love it. And let's balance electoral rights. In order to take another step in the right direction while forging the country into a modern nation, we must make sure to create a balance in the electoral system. Cool. How many more tanks do we need now? Too many. Way too many. Woo! We need way more casts, actually. Uh, casts would be super beneficial to have. Uh, let's grab some of that, too. Cast, yes. Cast me. Nice. Any more planes? Yes? No? Igor says yes. I'm not sure who, who Igor is, but yes. Yes. A thousand times yes. More planes here. And then throw some planes on some of these guys. I don't even have, you know, planes, so. There you go. Alright, boys. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can cook up here. You guys go in too. Just help them out. And then support the deck. Good. We should be able to win that one. Go straight up. And you guys help support the attack too. You guys help support the attack. Ten divisions, eh? Looks like we're doing an okay job. Force it. We're going to force him to die. Good, good, good. Crack him if you can. Oh, it's going up and down. We've got eight more divisions encircled. Here we go, boys and girls. It's going to be a, kind of a slow, drawn-out process of how we're going to do this, but that's all right. Just because they're just they're just stacking so many bodies here. Uh, how do we lose that? How do we lose the battle? Seriously, I don't understand. Help all of you guys help support the attack right here. There you go. They died. As they deserve to. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Now they're at... Well, that put them over 3 million. Nice. We've lost a little over a third of a million. Keeping on our political power and stuff like that. Not bad. Uh, uh, oh, we already built up the infrastructure max already here. Wow. We've, we've put in some work. Uh, by doing this, we might be able to reach more radar areas, which is nice. And uh, do that, do that, good, 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 good. Uh, Fuel-wise, I mean, I guess we could do that, too. Let's grab some more refineries, I suppose, and then some more military factories, I guess. That'd be pretty good, right? There you go. Very nice. Hope you guys are having a good day. I don't know if I already said that or not, but I can't remember a lot of things at the time of this recording, apparently. And that's okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. 
Yes. Poke him and get the Brion so you can increase the supply there. Oh, cancel. Why'd you cancel the Lendlease, guys? We like the Lendlease. Maybe they don't, though. Oh, uh, we got plenty of army XP for us to do with this. Cavalry Divisions, welcome to Armored Daddies. I gotta learn how to use more hotkeys. Because I just, like, control S here? That'd be cool if we could just do that and save it. Nope. That'd be really cool if control S to save your work. Save what you want in this battalion. Or this division. Because they're throwing on a bunch of battalions. Nice. How many armor cards do we have now? 2700, not bad. Very cool. Alright, let's go on in. Supplies really just got awful here. You guys are moving too. You guys are going to go there. And actually, you guys are going straight up that way. They are... They don't want to die here? Well, that's their fault then. Good. Good. And very, very good. It's getting closer to 1943. Let's grab some mechanized maybe. We're going to throw them on our tank divisions eventually. Nice job, guys. If you move over there, that should be really swell. Beautiful. Actually, screw it. You're both going to go this way then. Yep, yep. All you guys are going to go in. They're doing last stand, I think, so. Force it. Force them to die this way. Wait, we, they were defeated? Holy crap. Oh, no, 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 Russia. Nice pilot promoted. Very good. Russia, you're pathetic right now. Machine says subscription. Let's grab the next one, too. You just don't want to die? What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I know we lost a lot of tanks there in that battle. Because look at that. That's, that's pretty god-awful. I'll be honest there. But it doesn't matter. They love doing Last Stand. I don't understand why they love it so much. But it makes sense to use it. But it's quite painful to use it. But it makes sense when you're completely surrounded. So I understand why they do it. Cool. Get our tanks out of there. Because supply is going to be god awful. And maybe we'll put them right around here. I don't care what the cost is for our tanks. They're meant to be used. Alright, continue the public works. To make a move to alleviate the pains of the economic recession brought on by the Vienna stock market crash, we must continue the public works to create more jobs for struggling peoples. Absolutely. And we could probably use some refineries too, which we're working on, so we'll get there. Oh, hello. You wanted to rapidly come out? Well, I'm not even going to bother with that one. Coffee's pretty good. Yeah, we definitely need more tanks now. Oof. Advanced oil processing. Let's grab even more oil processing. Very nice. Thank you, Romania, for the oil. We could do this. But I don't really feel like it. Oh, we'll give you that one, though. More fuel? Why not? All right. Let's see what we can do about this. You're going to go straight on in. You guys. Half you guys are going to go in, too, and go boom, boom. He's... Look at Gerhard, he's so happy, I love it. Gerhard, Gerhard, how do you pronounce his name? Nice. The tanks may be damaged, but that is okay. Go, 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 go. You've got this. Immediately begin assaulting them. Beautiful. I love it. I love the Republic. Two more tank divisions. Beautiful. Even more beauty. I love the beauty. Actually, I would love to just be able to just smash into them. Because smashing into people can be a lot of fun. We'll do something like that. And now they're at 3.34. Nice. Machine assisted. I'd love to do a general attack, but we've got to wait. Uh, they're attacking us anywhere. I still have armies just kind of hanging out. Um, you know what? I'll split you in half then. You guys go over there. Thank you for your service. And now you're back. Thank you, Tobias. Danke schön. Uh, let's go with two. That'll save us some manpower a little bit and some tanks too, so that's nice. Alright. Let's move on in. Uh, actually, go right there. Oh, yeah, whatever. No, no, no. I want you guys to go there. There to there to there. Force the attack. This is probably a bad idea, but whatever. Let them feel pain. You both start attacking this way, Mongolians, huh? That's all right. Leave you right there. Nice. And someone board this way too. 
continue public works? Expand the oil fields in Galicia. We found out that Eastern Galicia harbors oil. Extracting it allows to build up more industry in this rather remote part of the empire. Oh, we lose 100 political power for that. Wow. That's costly. But hey, you know what else is costly? Losing your army. Sorry, Russia. Not really. Sorry at all. Nice. There you go. Surrounded and left alone to die. And the cold frost and the snow. Well, actually, there's not snow. Well, maybe it's snow. It just, there is snow on the screen. And actually, at the time I'm recording this, it is snowing outside my room, so. Cool. Awesome. Nuclear reactors? Ah, it's almost 1944, but we'll grab some nuclear reactor, he knows. And, ooh, so this armor. Oh, I'd love to do that, but we didn't adopt mobile warfare. Actually, I never use the, the attrition one, so let's do that one right now. Beautiful. And how many more losses? They were 3.34, now they have 0.16 more losses. So, the goal is to break through here to get to Smonsk. Smonsk. That's a goal. Hope you guys are ready, because I know I am. It's by the promoted, very nice. Resource wise, we need more cast still. Hmm. Hope the Germans are ready for a massive war between us. We should be able to beat him up in this episode, but hey, we'll see what happens. Boom to boom. You guys boom that way. You guys help support the boom. And then you guys uh, help attack. And then you guys go boom da boom da boom da boom da. Good. Ground support integration. Very nice. And we're done with our air doctrine. Good. Uh, let's come over here. Let's grab some of this because we can. There you go. Now that's nice. That's nice stuff. Break over the river. I love the armor. Especially when you have air support. Force it. Force it. Force them to die. Are they doing last? They gotta be doing last stand too, right? No, they're not. Okay, that's fine. They keep throwing in more soldiers. That's not good. Psychological warfare. Wartime, wartime exception. The U.S. of Austria-Hungary is in a state of war. Normally an election will be held at the time, but being in the middle of an important conflict may... Many argue that cannot afford to spend time on political campaigning or change the leadership if that should become about. Meanwhile, others claim that declaring the ongoing war a valid reason for skipping elections is a first step towards eroding Austro-Hungarian democracy after all. Letting military matters take a precedence or the people's influence could be a slippery slope. Uh, elections will be held? Yeah, I don't know what you guys are talking about. We're going to continue our election program here, so... Um... Come on, man. Come on, break through. There we go, we finally did it. You guys stay right here, though. You're not leaving. Whee! There we go. Do they continue to invade other areas here? No, not really. That's good. Russia is looking a little bit weaker on the front now. Average is about probably four divisions per tile, so... That's A-OK. -okay. Let our guys kind of get, get used to stuff. Have some coffee. 1.42 every day. And America wants to send us stuff. Thanks, America. I love you. More t okay, throw on the tanks. More tanks. Bulgaria. You know, even Bulgaria has gotten the memo and they're like, okay, maybe we should go to our areas then. And we're still training our navy, so. Alright, give our guys some time. Psychological warfare is kind of fun. How about some more passive defense stuff? Sure, why not? And our tanks, think I think they're, they're just pretty much ready to go. Bye, bets. Expand the oil fields? Nice. Let's go ahead and start the nuclear arms race. It was bound to happen at some point, so we might as well get an edge on the other nations and start before them. Good old, good old, good old stuff. Nice. We're almost done here, too. Beautiful. Let's grab some improved equipment and stuff like that. And let's grab some better subbies, because I like the subbies now. Subbies can be a lot of fun. Subbies for your chubbies. Sub chub. Sub chub wub. And if you know where that is a reference to, please let me know in the comments below. Subby chubby wubbies. You got a sub chub. I have a chub that could sub. Hit that armor in the rear. Very good. Uh, yeah, let's go some of this stuff. Nice. Good. There you go. Um, we are stretching out the line a little bit too much for my liking, so we're gonna just do a defensive line. There you go. Not bad. Hmm. It helps reduce supply usage, I suppose, as well. Now, that's a nice little barrier to defend from. Hmm. 
I don't like these guys down here. I want to capture Rostov by going around him. Is that for Poland's done? No. There you go. Fire control systems. Let's go and grab some of this too. Because we've got the army XP for it. And we can get some better logistics eventually. Probably three, two, one. Let's go. You guys and half you guys here with them. Same thing with you. There you go. Force it. Force them to die. If we're fast enough, we can blitz through these guys. That'd be great. Yes, please. You are just going to stay here. Begin attacking. Do not let them move. There you go. They're completely surrounded. If we're fast enough, we just kill them off here. Beautiful. Passive defense. Nice. Andy Pottison. Sehr gut. At this point, these guys are ripperonis. Let's go. Let's go. Screw it. We're going to do a general, a complete front wide general attack. Here we go. Get some cryptology going. Ciphers are broken. Let's go, boys and girls. Oh boy, we're losing. <laughs> oh, you guys go as well. Nice. Go, go, go. Everyone go. Go, 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 go. Do we have any other army generals? Uh, Joseph, you can lead the attack that way. Now, where we can break them, we're doing a really good job. Where we can't, obviously it's not that great. Oh, look at that. Three destroyers. Good. And now these guys have been almost cut off. There you go. Other than that, it's going to be... We're going to take quite a few losses here. But, you know what? It was bound to happen eventually. 3.9. I don't think they can keep this up, though. Oh, Bohemia. Yes. Russia. Construction repair. 2 million. Of course, they have enough manpower. Stockpile. Uh, they don't have a lot, do they? Holy crap. Holy crap. They don't have anything. All right. So, they can't repair, repair themselves. Replace themselves. And we've got enough allies to do this, too. Not bad. Pretty good. Yeah, this was... This is pretty devastating to the enemy. We lost almost 600,000 versus 4 million. Yeah, they're done. They're pretty much completely done. Especially if we take Baku and their oil fields. So nice. Go, 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 everyone. And I know this is deadly for our army, but we'll read the conscription level after this. So, it is what it is. Take as much land as possible. Do you guys not have orders? Okay. I'm going to reinforce the this area here. Matana wounded, so be it. Taking 600,000. We're going to probably approach a million eventually. We're taking more losses than we're flicking on the enemy, but they can't repair themselves nearly as much. So, Oh, we need more. Oh, we're out of support equipment. That's not good. Or infantry equipment. Start nuclear arms race. Very good. Invest in rocket research. With all that advanced technology coming to a head, it's a wonder that we haven't been starting or started researching rocket technology. It's time we begin to look into the, and start funding projects focused on artillery. Nice. Or on rocketry, you know. Alright, division-wise, they've got to be dying here. 162, 161. Come on, break them, break them, break them. 160. Wow, that just jumped up quite a bit more. Kind of wild. Diplomatic training, nice. I know this is incredibly costly, but I, I don't really care. I really don't. Seven hundred twenty thousand. Four point four three. Actually, how many? Lost? How many divisions? Maybe less than a hundred. Maybe potentially. Probably not. But you know, you never know. Fuel refining, cool. We will stop the attack soon. Let's grab some more of this. Cool. Oh, move in, move in, move in, move in. You can cut these guys off. That'd be really, really, really good. Too much red for me personally for me to like this, but they have some stockpiles of stuff. They got some fighters, some support equipment. Uh, and they're out of guns though, so I mean we're out of guns too. Don't get me wrong, we're way out of guns. Force them to die. Force, 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 force. Yep, some divisions died right there. Very good. Nice, these guys have been all cut off. That's so good. Come on, guys, die. Good, they died there too. Um, I'm assuming a million, ca million casualties by the end of this, so. Equipment conversion, nice. We're d almost done here. Good.
Let's see. Oh, these guys have been almost cut off. Almost cut off. Almost cut off. Go right there. That's more important to do. Let's grab some modern cruiser holes because we can. Or we might even just get more planes too, actually. Oh, these guys have been cut off. And they're doing... Probably... No, no, let's stand there. 900,000 versus 5 million. We've taken Baku. No more oil for them. Moscow is... Be oh, we're getting closer to it. We've lost so many guys, though. It's ridiculous. I'm surprised they're able to hold on for this long, really. Do we have Sartsen? Yes, we do. Go, tanks. Go, go, go. These guys are almost done. And this will help, help us out greatly. Good, they died. Up north, everyone, go. Alright, not bad. We're out of manpower, so I'll stop the attacks now. Uh, you guys have done really well, but I want to delete you just because we need more manpower. Thank you. Let's reorganize our lines now. Now, that was a really good push. It cost us dearly for it, but that's okay. Because now, we have our two armies here. Both with generals. And we're going to prepare the greatest invasion to knock out the Russian Empire. Or the Russian Republic, whatever we want to call it. Cool. And not bad. Especially once we fix up some roads. Welp, it's that time again. Let's get another national focus in. Let's fortify the German border. That actually would probably be a smart idea. Since the end of the Valkyrie, Germany has been one of the few countries that we can stand up to us in military strength. In case of war with a brother nation, we should defend German Bohemia, as it can be attacked from all sides. Oh boy, I love forts. But right now, as you can see on screen, we're getting ready for the big final push. Even though, oh boy, supplies are not looking too good around here, are they? Oof. Keep building all that infrastructure, boys and girls. We're going to do an okay job, hopefully. Alright, anyone have uh, logistics or upgrades actually? Upgrades, anybody? Yes, infantry experts, nice. Um, no, we're actually doing okay for the most part. Some of these divisions are not feeling very good, but that's just because supplies really, really oh, god awful. Holy bad words. We still have those guys. Anything over here? Yes, they have 46 command power. Anything else? Anything else? No. Ambush, huh? No, ambush, huh? Well, let's see what type of damage we can do now. Hopefully, this will be the final push. Alright boys, let's go all in. A lot of green, there's a little bit of red, but Baja, Baga has been wounded, so be it. Uh, of course, stacking over the rivers are a terrible idea, but look at their divisions. They're looking super weak. And right now they have up to 146 divisions, but... Oh, they're not do doing too good. And I've also raised our c conscription level some more. So now we're on service by requirement, I think, if I remember correctly. Yes, service by requirement, there he knows. Coordination is, of course, everything, but that's okay. Alright, 5.42 million. I have up to 151. Let's see if we can drop those numbers, son. Drop them. Drop them harder. Oh, we have to kill off Mongolia too, but whatever. I think I'll just pop the Russian Republic and take their manpower, hopefully. Up 150. 5.47. We've taken over a million casualties. Oh, 5.49. 5.5. I like those numbers. Let's keep pumping them up, son. Oh, we have more divisions here too, huh? Well, y'all yeah, do whatever you need to do, so. Um, and departments, anti-partisan activities, thank you very much. Now, this should break the Russian army at this point. Eh, 60,000 more losses, not bad. Are they doing... I doubt they're not They're doing a last stand, right? No, they're, they're not doing it, which is totally cool. I keep thinking that they do it, because they do it so often now that I never know if they're doing it. It doesn't matter if I know or not. What matters is that they all die, but still. Hey, 5.62, not bad. 5.63, 0.64, 0 0.65. Can we get up to a little higher? They have up to 133 divisions now. They must have just deployed some more because it was maxed out at 121-ish or 122 or something like that. So, 0.7 million, nice. 5.7 million is very, very nice. We're missing a bunch more equipment still now, but that's not too much worse. That's not great. We need some more support equipment. Blood tanks are looking pretty okay as well. Yeah, we're going to need more DS. In that's case, let's lower this by to 30. And Portugal, I love the Portuguese. Nice. Keep building up them roads. Advanced equipment conversion, I, I love it. And let's grab some logistics, because we can. Even though it's a little bit ahead of time, modern cruiser holes, not bad. I doubt we're honestly going to be even using these guys, but hey. It is what it is. Especially being the Germans, I mean, Austrians and Germans killing each other. As much as I love that fan fiction, uh, I don't think there's really much we can really do about it, navally, just speaking, you know, so. Alright, boys, let's go on, Ian. Let's have a good time. 
Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye bye now. All right, they they go bye bye. Yeah, at least we got the oil too. That's nice. Uh, losses one point one six, not bad versus that much. They have up to one hundred eighteen divisions, not bad. Fortify that German border. Next up, protect the Suez and Malta. After the Valkyrie, we gain control over the island of Malta and the Suez Canal, both the vital bases for the trade with the Austrian East Indies. By we therefore need to protect these two strongholds in the Mediterranean. Nice. Oh, we still gonna destroy. I love it. Oh, Italy wants to help us out. Finally. Open us out. Finally. Oh, uh, we can do that. We're pretty much maxed out on everything here, which is not bad. Other than that, we need more guns. After it's done for them Germans. Germs. Fall St. Petersburg, a blow to Russian morale will be quite severe. Is that a... Severe? Is that... A, that's a league champion, isn't it? Why did I think of that? I don't know. Anyways. Uh, they should be done soon, because we took St. Petersburg, we got Moscow, we got Saritsyn. They're only a quarter of the way through, which really, really sucks, actually. They have... Hopefully less than 100 divisions now. And you know what I love? I love that the Americans are supplying with tanks and guns and support equipment. I mean, the relationship between the Austrians and the Germans have... Austrians and... Yeah, Austrians and Americans have never been stronger. I love it. Big ol' heavy holes. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. You got a lot of political power, too. Only 1.42 every single day, but that ain't too bad. Gurev. East Gurev. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, I did fish my coffee too, so it's it's big sadness. Big sadness hours here now. Go, Lothar. Go, go, go. Uh, not good. Actually, we could use more air bases around here, probably too. Yeah, there's like no no air bases down here. That sucks. There you go. Ah, uh, Germany. Yes, yes. Help us out. Yeah, they're the one giving us stuff. Like, not bad. Minus 27 point. Eh, we lost 10,000 more. Or 400 more, maybe. I don't know. 100 more. Nice. I can't imagine that uh, they have that much equipment left. They've lost. They have less than 100 divisions now, which is great. And even though we're taking quite a few losses, then we'll take, we'll take some time. Oh, we got a lot of light tanks. Nice. I want to get those light tanks. We'll take some time. We'll repair ourselves. We'll make ourselves better. Stronger. Faster. Thicker in all the best areas. The best, best areas. But, uh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Modern cruisers, modern subs. I love it. You're done, son. Yeah, I'm not sure how much this is really going to help against the Germans, but hey, you might tie up some convoys and that's some manpower that's going to be gone. Thank you. Advanced subs. Goodbye. Modern subs. Nice. Interwar. Well, that is a capital ship. But advanced heavy hulls. Oh, ooh la la. I love these things. Even though we should probably wait to really upgrade these even further, so. Um, Anti-air. Looks pretty nice. Good, 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 good. Uh, this has become dual batteries. That's not bad, not bad. I want to get better cannons too, so. We'll wait. Uh, you know what's cool? We'll just put them on it anyways, because you can. Texas, who has malt up, developed the East Indies. The Austrian East Indies is a very research-rich colony. We should develop their infrastructure and industry so they can extract mole resources. How are the Germans doing, actually? Because they're probably getting pretty strong and thick. A lot of divisions. Got a lot of manpower. They're on service power requirement as well. A couple convoys. Navy-wise, they've got a big old fleet. A really thick old fleet. Wow. Keep going, guys. I would love to force the attack, but it's kind of a waste of time doing that. Up to 82 divisions max. We've lost 1.26 million. Not bad. Not great. Not bad. Come back over here. Let's grab some of this. Ralph's is wounded. Ralph's, you're not allowed to get wounded. Nice. We got a lot of peepee. -pee. We got big peepees. -pee God, we got to go all the way past the Urals to take them out. Holy crap. Eh, some nuclear bomberinos. Why not? And how about we get some of this? 80% and 100%. Nice. Ah, yes. I love having allies to help us out. That's even better than before. Nice. But I'm sad I have no more coffee. I have a problem, probably. Eh, whatever. Ashgabat. We, only, we don't even have 300 factories. Wow. I'm going to do some more bonds. Uh, we could take out the Ottoman Empire. I don't really see a point in doing that. They already paid their debts, and we don't really hate them. At least I don't really hate them, so... Uh, I don't really see a point in doing that. Thank you. Nice. Come on, Russia, give it up. You've lost 7 million almost, so. Mm. 
Very good, very good, very good. Do we also have someone just... guys? Just put them out of their misery, man. Yeah, we need more guns. 25, 26,000 lost. So, we'll do that, maybe? Medium tanks looking pretty good. Close air support looking relatively okay as well. Not bad, not bad. This is just very disgusting, not gonna lie. Develop these Indies, how about we fortify the Carpathian Mountains? The Romanians have been spewing more and more aggressive rhetoric about uniting with the Transylvanian people within their borders. Our borders, really. We have to fortify Romanian borders so we will not be taken by surprise should they attempt an invasion? I like that. Even though we already beat the living crap out of them. But if we have to, we'll beat up our own puppets for our own amusement, so... There you go. Come on, Bowman. Not Bowman, but Bowman. Uh, they're 92% of the way there. Not bad. 7 million have died. Not enough. Not enough. Ross, you got anything else going for you? I mean, y'all just keep doing what you're doing, but... Go, go, go. Eh, Ekaterinburg. Nice. Grab some of this too. Oh wait, why do I keep doing that? I keep I need to do some air stuff. Duh, Mr. Michael Lever. Duh. Uh it's about promoted, very good. Yeah, I'll probably just pop with these guys. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Uh oh. Oh, oh we actually sunk something. What wait, what? We have a oh, thanks guys. I appreciate it. Alright, let's get some planes going. And then some air doctrine too if we haven't finished it. Wow, China looks really bad. And by bad I mean pretty normal actually. Poor China. Air production? Oh, maybe we should play with China sometime. Even though this just looks like the stripped down version of the base game with looking the Tiger DLC focus tree, so. Alright, since we, since we got them, there you go. Here, I'll pop the Japanese. I, I apologize for the clicking sometimes for, for my computer. I like to click, 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 click sometimes. We should be done soon, right? How much more. How many more dead Russians do we need? A lot more. Oh! I asked. And they're done. Um, Serbia. We we can't risk them being alive. Sorry. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, Montenegro. That's part of Serbia, so we'll take that too. And Russian Republic. There we go. Satellite the Republic of Turkmenistan. We could break them up. Soviet Republic of Georgia. Azerbaijan. Oh yeah. Cool. Was it worth it? Probably not. Oh, guys, why are you canceling your land lease? Oh, is it because... Yeah, we're doing better on guns, actually. That's not too bad. Uh, Russian Republic led by Kerensky. He's back. <laughs> uh, they sold all the Navy. Not, they have a, that's a lot of ships. They have no divisions. Two million manpower still. Service bar requirement. Not bad. Okay. All right. Well, it's time to do what needed to be done years ago. You guys are going to come all the way up there, which actually isn't too bad. Actually, let time go on with that one. We haven't done even this up yet either. Oh boy. But we're going to have to go with retake Silesia. The territories of Silesia was taken away from us by Prussia in the year in the war of the Austrian succession back in 1748. It's time to retake it. Nice. And I know we could do some technology, but I want to get this one done first. Thank you. Since it doesn't really matter too much right now. So, yes. Air doctrine? Well, I mean, technically we are done with the air doctrine, so. There we go. Nice. Anything else down here? Not really, no. Not too much. Gotta keep an eye on this, too, so... Let's go and see if we can do this one next, maybe? No? Okay. We'll have to have a fallback line. Now, hopefully, Russia can quickly make some new divisions. That'd be, probably be pretty good for us. There you go. Oh, is Finland in the group, too? They're not. Okay. Commonwealth. Berlin Pact. And I'll send the tanks down south this way. I know Italy does have a few divisions, but they're not looking too great. Uh, we could do that stuff, but I don't really care too much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Nice. Uh, anything else? We are at peace now, which is pretty good. We take Silesia. Uh, oh, wow. Nominal puppet. Nominal puppet, eh? Let's see. Smoocher, infiltration risk goes down. Cool. Come to Obobayan. And you all, let's see. Nice. Let's go up to Chemnitz. Cool. Oh, that's where Chemnitz is. 
Cool. Well, since we're here, Western diplomacy. By looking to the West, we can begin to rebuild relations with the losers of the Valkyrie. Let's move to reach out, could build alliances in the future. I think a lot of political power retakes Alicia. Uh, we go to war with them. Bracket shooting. Oh boy. Death charge mortars because we can. And then naval bombers. Why not? Since we have all this air XP, we might as well use it, right? Good. Plenty of ships here. Plenty of subs, too, now, finally. It's pretty nice, I'd say. Mm, just in case. There you go. Just make sure the Mediterranean's fine. That's all I really care about. Oh, uh, another one. There you go. Repair. You guys can split up if you really want to. Uh, not bad. Not bad. What else do we need here? Support equipment. Artillery pieces can go down, probably. Go up by five, go down by five, go up by five, and lower yourself by five. Cool, not bad. Any more planes, though? One, two, there you go. One, two, there you go. Yep. Didn't want to go, huh? Fighters, yeah, we'll put them there. Stukas, there you go. Close air support, there you go. There you go. Let you go right there. Not bad, not bad, you guys, or what? Interrogation techniques. Everyone's got a few stukas with them, so that's good. Oh, I might be saying that wrong. Hmm, maybe. Naval bombers, we got a lot of attack. Oh, naval bombers, nice. Three, four, nice. Oh well, let's do this first. One, two, three. And there you go. And one, two. Get more right there. And then boom, arenas go right there. Nice. Technology is coming along very, very nicely. Uh, air doctrine. How about some industry stuff? Experimental rockets, because we can. Close air support, we don't have any stuff for you. It's unfortunate, but whatever. And deficit. We don't want to attack with the deficit. We're good on guns, though. We need more motorized and support equipment. Motorized, where are you? There they are. There you go. Good enough. I'm mean, gonna guess we could put some dive bombers around here, too. It doesn't really matter to me too much. Boom, boom. Boom ba da boom ba da duplicate cut in half. There you go. Because then half you guys are going to go that way too. Cool. We have death charge mortars. Nice. You guys are bombers. So goodbye. Western diplomacy. Not bad. And because we can, we're going to go ahead and do fortify the Russian border. With the new Russian Republic rising from the ashes of the old Tsar's Empire, they're becoming an ever more powerful nation. Their new regime is likely still to be hostile towards us because they have not forgotten the L they took and the Velkrieg and all the reparations that came with it. We should begin to fortify our border with them. Awesome. Mechanize. Motorize. Good. Good stuff. We're going to blitz through what was once at Paris or France. So, Modern heavy ship holes. Nice. Uh, where are there? Um, we take attack Switzerland. Yeah, we'll get to that later on. Let's do this one maybe. Let's we'll see what happens when we take retake Silesia. Uh, you guys go right there. And go right there. Nice, very nice. Alpe Alpeniega divisions. We should be able to make this one forty combat with right. It doesn't make sense why we wouldn't be able to, right? Right. Nice. Grab him some armor, because you can, because we love him. Logistics, because we don't like him too thick. Hey, nuclear bomberinos, nice. And support company, let's grab some more engineers. It's happy 1945. Oh, we actually played up until 1945. Look at that. The tank should be able to blitz through here, even if they have a few divisions. Our Air Force is pretty good, even though the German Air Force might be pretty good as well, so. They haven't been in war for a few years, so they've had time to build themselves up a little bit more. Less than a week, until we go. 
into a Vamoose. Now, these guys might attack us quite a bit, because they've got quite a few divisions around here. And these guys don't have quite a few, so... I'm just hoping that we can blitz through France as fast as possible. There we go. Are we moving in? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, and let's go and do this too. I don't want to forget this. Cool. That should save us a few guys for now. Oh yeah, Deutsche Middle Africa, huh? Well, Bavaria's coming down very nicely. Let's call in our al- Oh, it's glitch. God dang it. Call in our allies. Uh, let's call all of our boys in. I'm not going to call in Russia yet because they're not ready yet. Wow, what's happening down here? Um. Wow. It's not a sub. That's nice. Lost two subs. It's not nice. Convoys. Cool. Oh, boy. Losing a couple planes here and there. All right. All right. Oh, we, we pushed into Dresden. That's nice. Algerian state. Oh, they want to take us out too, probably. Whatever. Good luck with that. Convoys. This is mostly just convoys. I'm not seeing too much down here. Three destroyers or something. That's good. That's fine. If you really want to come in, I don't really care. Let the German tanks, or Austrian, Austrian Hungarian tanks, just roll on in. Nice. Ah, oh, yes. How are we doing? Uh, well, we're doing okay. Maybe not super great, but not bad. You guys. I mean, if you want to attack, you can try. I don't think it's going to be super successful, though. Good luck, guys. Good luck. With Germany, how strong are these guys? Extend the Siegfried line. They have a million man for 1.8. It's about, about two, then. Uh, they have 219 divisions. We can actually see their stockpile. Wow. Um, they have a lot of different types of stuff. It doesn't look like they have that much. Where's their infantry equipment? This is so weird. Guys, what the heck? Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, no. Where's the battles? I want to see battles. Oh, they have the... Ooh. Ooh, wow. Look at those guys. Look at those guys. That's a lot of guys in there. Central Mediterranean. Close air support naval bombers. There you go. Let's get you guys to come up here too. There you go. Uh, that's a case. Actually, I want to put like duplicate you guys as well. One, two, three, four. There you go. Oh boy. Wow, that's a big fleet. Of course, I think they're trapped if we if we bring them here since we own the Suez as Gibraltar as well. I think, right? Oh my goodness. I just hope we can destroy those ships. The German High Seas Fleet, oh boy. You guys are doing great. We're doing really, really well. We almost have pretty much all of Bavaria, which is nice. Um, but then, perhaps? Because this will help uproot some of their entrenchment, which is nice. Even though at this point, I don't think they have a lot of entrenchment, but that's just me, maybe. Oh boy, what happened here? What happened, what happened, what happened, what happened? Alright, well, that's okay. Let you guys go home. Everyone can go home and have a good time. Let the naval bombers take care of it, you know. Nice. Nice. Yep, yeah, don't... Oh, God, they're looking incredibly weak. Uh, do we have an air base here? Yes, it's good. Not much, but it'll be good. Do we have any... Oh, we have no spirit. Naval bombers, it's fine. Well, these you guys then. Not great, not ideal, but whatever. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, they sunk a battleship. That. Oh, come on, man. That's garbage. It was an inter interwar, I suppose. It. This wasn't modern one. Oh, it sunk a carrier though. Nice. Yeah, they're gonna keep being just drilled as long as. Oh, I guess we don't own Gibraltar. No, they can leave whenever they want. I guess. So, all right, we've set ourselves up to the point where I don't think they can really do much to contest us too much. I mean, yeah, they're going to sink a lot of ships still, but everything they've got is going to go bye-bye too, so. I'm really impressed with these guys. We've almost linked up in France. Nice. Good job, guys. Uh, keep going, though. You're not done yet. 
Oh, we still can't see that. Darn it. Um, up next... Reinforce the KUK Kriegsmarine. The KUK Kriegsmarine has always been underfunded and unappreciated by the Austrian government and her people. Without a colonial empire, the neighbor, never, Navy never had any real backing or strategic purpose. However, since the end of the Valkyrie, we have severely increased our strength over the Mediterranean. We should therefore invest more in the KUK... Uh, branch, or the army. Or the military, not the army. Duh. Berlin's a frontline city? I love it. My goodness. It is just... Hey, we sunk a carrier. Nice. A ship graveyard down here. Four enemy destroyers. Nice. Three enemy destroyers. Nice. Another enemy destroyer. Another enemy destroyer. Another two enemy destroyers. Not bad, my friends. Nice destroyers. Destroyers. Escort cruiser. Escort cruiser. Destroyer. Convoy. Destroyer. Yeah, Germany, you like losing the destroyers. Bordeaux. Wow. Not too bad. Not gonna lie. This is not too bad. Uh, I would love to see how many men we've lost, though. Re-1. I don't remember re-1, but we've lost about 700,000. Roughly 700,000 so far, so... It is what it is, you know. Everything has a cost. Not oh! It's a Valkyrie gear, but it's still a battleship, so... We're gonna feel pretty good about that one. Two destroyers. Destroyer. Destroyers. 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 Uh, more destroyers and stuff. Convoys. Nice. Escort cruiser and destroyers, more destroyers. This stuff, yeah. Not bad. Convoy, two destroyers. I'm more interested in the naval battles than the actual land battles, huh? No. Valkyrie destroyer, three destroyers, fall of Berlin. Nice. It's all over the German Empire now. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, do we. Jesus Christ, we're going so fast. And I know I could be doing technology, but as we're pretty much close to the end of the uh, campaign here, so. Uh, sure, why not? Sure, why not? Oh boy, we lost two subs. That sucks. Nothing else here interesting. No. Let's go cruiser. No. What's going on here? Oh, they're sinking some Italian ships, huh? Hey, there's a battleship and an armored cruiser. There goes the Dutch. Bye, Dutch boys. See you next time. Nice. Hey, there goes a the battleship. I love it. Another battleship, too. We sunk two battleships. They sunk one of ours, so... This will, oh, we sunk the pride of the fleet! And two carriers! Holy crud! That's nice. That's very nice. Another, oh, another carrier. Oh, I love it. They, mu they must still be trapped down here, then, just because they can't move or leave, probably. Just because I don't think Spain gives them naval access to Gibraltar, so that's actually really bad for them. Nice. Very nice. I love it. Well, I guess we don't really need another focus since... I mean, they're pretty much done at this point. Like, there's nothing they can do left. I suppose we could force it, but I... Alright. Okay, that was so much faster than taking out Italy or Russia. Holy crud. Um, well, let's see. The Dutch. We would like to have an occupied puppet. We're going to settle at the Dutch East Indies now. Either, I wish I could get, have the option of, um, like, integrating them with our own East Indies. I think that'd be really cool if we could do that. But other than that, Occupied Puppet for now. That's fine. Deutsch Middle Africa. I mean, Austro-Hungarian Middle Africa, maybe? Satellite, a bunch of nations. Wait, where is Occupied Puppet? Even though that would look pretty cool if we took it, but uh, that's fine. Poland? I, uh, I kind of want to annex them, but we'll do Occupy Puppets. I'm just mostly just going to be doing Occupy Puppets anyways. New World Order. A new European Order. I'll also do that one, too. Yeah, we'll do that one, too. Unless, do the Dutch have a core on this area? No, they don't. That sucks. Uh, the Belgian state was a mistake. Algerian state? Eh, I'll just puppet all these guys. It doesn't really matter to me. Except for Germany. Hmm... Yeah, it's for Germany. Yeah, it's for Germany. Yeah. We want a Silesia, but we're going to take just a little bit more than Silesia. Just a little bit more. Oh, we lost some of our ships, but I don't think we're done quite <clears throat> yet. We could liberate the French, but why would we want that? So we we set up the Netherlands or the Benelux because I wanted to make sure that we could still have people we could marry with in the future. So. Oh, let's make sure we're doing this too. 
because we can. And... Uh, what do we want to do? Medium Bomber Trials, the potential of a versatile medium 2 engine engine bomber for a variety of different missions, has caught the attention of High Command. Since the tactical bomber would be uh, very useful for the fleet of coal, aircraft manufacturers are once again competing in trust of the next generation of bombers. And Finland is justifying against the Russian Republic. Okay, Finland. I, that is just not a smart idea. No matter what anyone has told you, that is not a smart idea. Sure, come on in, guys. Let's have a good time with these folks. These fine, fine Swiss folkarinos. There we go. Is this glitched all? Yeah, it is. And we got the nukes down, but we're not really going to really use them. Darn. Oh, well. Well, we did a little bit more than Silesia. It'd be cool if we had the option of, like, okay, do we want to set up a German puppet state or something? Or, I mean, yeah, there's a peace conference there and such, but, like, do we want to have, like, the North German Confederation and the United States of... Uh, Germany because of the Austro-Hungarians, but hey, that's not bad. I think that's pretty much going to be our campaign though since Well, we could take out the Ottomans, but there's really any point to you? not really But so hope you enjoyed this uh, campaign if you did leave a like subscribe if you're new Check out my discord link in the description below. We have Austro-Hungarian Africa down here, and I guess I will see y'all in a different campaign very soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day